Today, I'm gonna to give some of my strategies for flying with a brass instrument. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? Aaron here, helping musicians get better, faster through product reviews, educational videos, and performances. Today, we're talking about flying with a brass instrument. Now, before we get into it, if you're new here, consider subscribing for more videos just like this one posted every week. So for many of us, our instrument is actually our livelihood and to fly with it is a very scary thing because a lot of bad things can happen from point A to point B. Of course, we're always worried about our instrument getting damaged and getting hurt, or we also got to think about it possibly getting lost in transit as well. So I wanted to give you the three most common solutions to flying with an instrument that I've seen brass players use in my time while being a performer. One of the most common options that I see, especially for smaller instruments, is putting it in the overhead compartment as your carry-on. It makes sense, you can, if you put it on there, you can travel with it, pull it down, your instrument's good to go. However, that doesn't work especially for tubas and then especially for euphoniums and then trombones a lot of times if you're too long. So before you use this option, make sure that you research what plane your flight is and also if you have any connecting flights, your multiple planes, both to and from for your trip, just to make sure that the cabin will fit your instrument. I've been able to fly with my euphonium going in on the overhead, um, but that was when I was using a different gig bag and it was a little bit of a tighter bell, so it was able to go in there and all those planes were also larger planes. A couple things that you wanna be thinking about before you consider putting it in the overhead is not only is your instrument going to fit, but also is it going to shift around while it's up there that would cause a ding or is somebody's like overhead bag going to shift into the instrument and cause a dent as well. So if you're flying with a, you know, a buddy um, and they don't have an instrument, maybe they can put their backpack or whatever to, to kind of soften any blow that it might happen. But just be aware of that, that that is something that can happen to it as well. Another thing that you have to be worried about when you put it in the overhead is you are going to essentially annoy everybody around you because your instrument's not small, small it's going to take up a very big amount of space. I recently went on a trip with a band and all the cornets, trombones, baritones, tenor horns, it was a brass band. All of those instruments went in the overhead and you could sense that everybody who was not the band people were kind of annoyed when the trip was fuller just because you, you know, we're taking up so much cabin space just for that. So even though it fits, you're going to irritate some people. So just be ready for that as well. And also maybe consider, you know, having yourself bored a little bit earlier and seeing what you can do about that, that zone pass system just to get on earlier. So maybe that, you know, when the masses get on, your instrument's already in a spot, it's already claimed a spot. You know, that sort of a thing. That's something to consider too. So if you're socially conscious and if it, things like that make you anxious, this might not be a way for you to go either. And you also might want to consider bumping up your zone, not only because you're going to irritate the people around you, but also if that instrument doesn't have a place in the overhead, they're going to check it. I've heard stories about it flying, you know, with the pilots and going into like these magical cupboards that are on the plane. I've, I've heard these stories, but you don't want to bank on that being your situation. And so it's really nerve wracking when you're getting on the plane late and you start to not be able to find a spot for your horn, they're gonna put it underneath. And especially if you have a gig bag, that's gonna be extremely dangerous. Another common option that I see, especially for the larger instrument people, is buying your horn its own seat. With its own seat, nothing to worry about. You bring it in, you strap it in, it sits right there right beside you. Um, I feel bad for any third party who might happen to be there. But yeah, so you, your instrument has its own seat, it becomes its own passenger. Um, I've even seen some silly nicknames for it when people do that. Um, however, that can get expensive. You know, think about it, maybe, you know, it's just a one, one round trip, it's $500, so you have to double that. You know, that's $500 just for a one-time use. So if you wanna invest that money into something that's gonna be more long-term, there are cases that are specifically meant to be checked. And I'll start with mentioning that there are gig bags that are super reinforced, uh, they're a little heavier, and they're supposed, they're meant to be checked underneath the plane. However, even with those, I've seen 
I mean, I, I don't know how these baggage people work their magic, but I've seen dings coming out of these super hard cases where you, you don't think that anything could possibly happen to it and you've got fragile already stamped all over it. Um, and I've seen dings come out of those situations. So, you know, it, it, they are good cases. Uh, they work really well, but that is something too. I have seen them not work 100% of the time. So because those gig bags aren't 100%, there's actually another option called flight cases, which are much more heavy duty. And so diving into my flight case was actually going to bring me to our video sponsor for today, Unitech. Like I said, I recently went on a flight with a brass band and I use a Unitech flight case for that flight. So this is my flight case made by Unitech, today's video sponsor. And as you can see, it's a pretty hefty case. Um, so what they did was they sent me a form that asked for all the dimensions of my instrument, which I filled out and sent it back to them. And then they made this case specifically to the dimensions that I sent them. So this is custom made for my instrument. This is what they call a diamond plated euphonium case. It gets that from obviously the diamond plating up top, but it's got some other protective features like uh, it's got these little stops here on the end, as well as on the corners, it's got these little rounded off knobs too. So your instrument's really protected as well as in, outside and inside. And what, it also has that I really like is it has these handles on the top here and on the side here, and it also has wheels. So the instrument's heavy, You're like there's no getting around it, especially in the case, but you can get around the airport pretty easily with the options that they've given you. I mean, it's not as easily as just walking around with a messenger bag or something, but it's as close as you can get with hauling such a heavy instrument. And it works really simple too. All you literally have to do, take your instrument, put it down inside the case while it's already in its own gig bag, shut it, latch it up, and it's ready for its flight. And not only that, so when you get to your destination, like when I got to my hotel room, I took it out of this case and I just had my gig bag. I didn't have to lug around another heavy case or anything like that. Um, and again, without anything in the pouches or anything like that, this hit the weight limit so that I got to, this euphonium got to fly for free both to and from. Um, after a couple flights, I'm sold. I'm so happy that I got this product and I highly, highly suggest that if you go the flight case route, I highly suggest doing it through Unitech. They were very helpful. They were very patient with my questions because I was a worry ward about the entire thing. I am so happy with the product that I got from them. I, I cannot recommend them more if you're going the flight case route. I think it's the best investment for your money in terms of one time spend, but multiple, multiple uses. That actually leads me to my question of the day. How have you flown with your instrument? Did you use any of the options that I talked about here in this video, or have you done something completely different? Please let me know in the comments down below. So like I said, our instrument is super important. You know, in a lot of cases, it's our livelihood, it's our baby, we wanna protect it, and you wanna come up with the best ways to go about that. So really think about when you have to fly with your instrument, how you're gonna go about that. As always, I'm Aaron reminding you to be happy, but never satisfied. I'll see you next time.